<clears throat> All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Let's continue on. We'll definitely play a bunch tomorrow night as well. Let me just bring that out. We'll take this up here. We're definitely going to play a big, big chunk of this tomorrow night. I'm just hoping these lights stay up and running here. I really don't have any other batteries because they all are either dead or charging, so we may be only able to go for about another hour and a half. We'll see if we can do as much as we can. Anyways, your loft wing <clears throat> really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell father what happened. So we just got our loft wing back. Bruce will well if it isn't a weird man. Word around the plaza is you found your dumb bird of yours. Well, yeah. In your hideout area. Well, that's just great because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start. And they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flake gets special treatment? <clears throat> You're almost a man, and yet you still seem still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't decide what to have for lunch on your own, huh? And don't think we haven't noticed the smug look. Oh Zelda and I are best friends. We go everywhere together. Ugh. <clears throat> Ah, uh, you think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Bruce has been going on forever about this. He's gonna be the one... About he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really not his pompadour. He's really got his pompadour and a ruffle about her. I cannot read tonight. Jeez. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Playing, uh, Zelda's playing the role of the goddess in tomorrow's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. Uh, sailcloth? It's the first I've heard of a sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way I was gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. <clears throat> oh, yes, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. Oh, man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First I win the big race, then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody's stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real. I I can see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bruce, Bruce, behind you. Right behind you. What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... Zelda. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing really. Just, uh, weird man. Yeah, I just was telling my buddy how glad I was he found his red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to this fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Oh, Groose. Hey, Groose, wait up! <clears throat> Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get me down, weird man. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. So, I know you've got these guys beat, and deep down, I think you do too. Oh, you do too. Me. Okay, never mind. Us alone? I don't know. Yeah. We're going to be positive. That's the spirit. Trust me, you can win this. Even though just hours ago, I was saying, I don't believe him. He's lazy on the bird. <laughs> so, whatever. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. <clears throat> Looks like it's race time. Good luck. I was like, why are planes flying over? But those aren't planes. Those are 
those are loft wings with jet trails. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hey, your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I want the gold one. Ah, oh, I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Weird Man, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you all can make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I've attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. On my signal, press A to dash and dive off the ledge. Once you are in the air, mount your left wing. Remember to call your bird promptly with down once you dive off the edge. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette with A will be this year's champion. Those are the rules. Simple enough, I should think. I should think, but do you need to hear them again? Nope. Excellent. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. Oh, that's smart. That's sneaky to have the 25th anniversary of Zelda also have the 25th anniversary kind of sneak in there. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I saw Zach was streaming his, uh, he's doing his 12-hour Spyro thing. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, so when we're done here, we'll all, uh, kind of, kind of raid him a little bit. He's doing his 12-hour challenge to, uh, uh, with Spyro 2, so, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I just wish he wasn't doing it tonight, and he was doing it maybe Sunday, so I could have watched it, but... Uh, today is a special day for many reasons. It's our special. Okay, we got that. Uh, to celebrate this occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift uh, high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman's perf young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted a gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of goddess this year will be performed by <laughs> the lovely Zelda. Yeah, it's a 12-hour thing. It's a bunch of him and his buddies that do speedruns uh, have 12 hours to complete the game by using a lot of the speedrunning techniques and stuff like that, I guess. That's what I kind of take from it. So, The lovely Zelda. <laughs> Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see a good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. <clears throat> that goes double for you, Groose. I really don't like Groose. All right, then, gentlemen, line up at my command. The competition will begin. All right. I think we can remember all this and get it done first try. <laughs> Maybe. <clears throat> all right, let's go. Wait, how are they all ahead of me? That's not fair. We all jumped off at the same time. I'm not... Why can't I freaking... Don't you know that this is my day to get all the glory? Oh, that's not fair. Hey. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you fly with an egg on your face. You guys are totally unfair. I won that fair and square. Ow. They've got the headmasters have to do something about this. This is totally unfair. Compensating, I keep turning it a lot further than it needs to be. I just need to do just short little turns. Come on, just line it up and go. 
I forgot the BB break. Uh, I was so good to hit it that first time, and now I can't. Now I can't freaking get it. Ow! Give me plenty of time to try to get it, but Turn it all. Got it again. Come on. Oh, come on. I would have hit A, I would have got it. really don't like the motion control here. I got it that first time, luckily. Because I came down upon it. Kind of cut it. Dang it all. Statuette proves your victory today. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be a race. Well, I guess it's technically a race. So. Oh, well, well we got it. Hooray. <clears throat> Weird man. With the harp, too. Jeez, what if I wasn't right there, Zelda? You really trust me, don't you? Jeez. Don't worry, I'm fine. Great flying, congratulations. Now we better get on with the ceremony. Groot's not gonna be happy about that. You just plan to go crazy. Weird man, hand me that bird statuette. You grabbed in the race, I must offer it to the goddess. I wonder what happens with the gem in that other the little gem we have to put in that eye socket of that one statue I want to know what happens to that doesn't seem like that harp has enough notes Yeah, maybe. Is this supposed to be the next day that this ceremony takes place? Great goddess, guiding light, and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways I now bestow the blessing of the goddess upon you. Ta da! And we get the sail or whatever that she made. The blessing of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. Oh, she's. Wait, isn't that like a voice saying, or is that her saying that? <laughs> we got the sail cloth! Now you can jump from any height without fear of a painful landing. It smells nice, too. <laughs> a little side note. Weird man, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave that sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making the sailcloth in time to give it to you t today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, weird man. 
Make sure you take good care of it, okay? <clears throat> Thanks for making it up here to do this for me today. Do this with me today like you promised. Okay. All was good until something, right? Now we really should finish... Oh, wait, what? You do know what happens at the end, right? Sort of? Uh-oh, nope. Uh, I, I don't. We'll say so, sort of. I mean, Link maybe knows, but... <laughs> I'm glad you're so well informed about the subject. You have to jump off the statue! I do remember that. Look down, see that big round design in the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right into the center of it. Just finished. All right, cool, Nimbus. Hopefully you were able to focus on your school, schoolwork. <clears throat> Leap off the edge here right before you hit the ground. Press B to open up your sailcloth. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you wait until the last second to use the sailcloth. So ready to jump? <clears throat> oh, God. I think I can... Oh my gosh, I hate this. Oh, so close. But yeah, I've got to center this again. Because I was like backing way up when I should have been even. By, by the way, I'm holding my Wii remote. <clears throat> that was perfect. You're amazing. You know, weird man, seeing as how you won today, and with the weather being so nice, and nothing going wrong in our world, you think maybe you'd like to go, you know, fly around the clouds together? <clears throat> I'm sorry, but the Wii is my enemy console? How is it your enemy console? Weird man. Hey, weird man. Today was amazing watching you win the race, performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> Come on, we just this is just lingering. We know something's gonna happen. Come on. You know... <clears throat> there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. There it is. What is that? Oh no! <clears throat> Auntie M! Auntie M! What's going on? never good at motion controls. It's the thing, all the Wii games didn't really have motion controls, but this one is in particular because it uses the Wii Motion Plus. Ah, weird man. So it's really finicky on where it's pointing and where it's thinking the Wii remote is actually centered. So if I was holding it up, like I was kind of holding it down to the side, that's why I was going back when I was falling. So that's why I had to quickly kind of point it up and because it's thinking it's centered like this. So, I don't know. Weird man. Hmm? <laughs> I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to the mission of great importance. Weird man. I have to go help my mom with stuff, but I'll leave the stream on. Well, thank you, man. Hopefully, I'll be back while the game's still going. Yeah, we got about another hour and 20 minutes or so-ish. About 1 o'clock Eastern. Oh, no. Or uh, 1 a.m. Eastern is probably where I'm going to cut off. That's probably where my battery's going to die on the light, because I didn't have all three charged up like I thought. So. <clears throat> ah, you're awake. But thanks for sticking around, Nimbus. I appreciate it, man.
When your Loftwing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. <clears throat> but we're men, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What happened to my daughter? Well, you see... And that's what happened. Black tornado? That was more brownish. Black tornado, you say? That was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? She's talking about a voice in her head. And I'm even using my... I forgot to show this, but... I'm using my... Sorry, the green screen, but... The gold... Zelda... Wii Motion Plus control that came with the, the game. I see. She was talking about the surface then... And you've been having dreams about a great mission. How interesting. Ooh. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much a connection. But I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. Yeah, right, dude. Everybody's watching go brush your teeth. What, what? <laughs> I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. I, it would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. <clears throat> You're really not worried about your daughter, I guess. Rest now. Zelda's going to be fine. Hey, excuse me. She's out there alive. I know it. there. Do I have any more money in here? <laughs> uh, I've got money again. Can I do it again? Ah, that was hilarious though. <laughs> There's another five dollars. Even though the first time we went in it had five dollars and it just happened to have five dollars again. <clears throat> Directed toward the chat. Oh, there she is. Oh, everybody watching, go brush your teeth. I thought you said, with everybody watching, you should go brush your teeth. That's what I thought you were meaning by that. I was like, what are you talking about? Come back here. Where are you going? Hey. Come back here. What if I do this? Can I get her? No? Oh, well. Yeah, it's weird. Some of the doors like that, with the way the art style is in the game, it looks like it's all out of focus a lot. That is one thing I do remember the most about this game is that certain things look out of focus just because of the way the graphics are. <clears throat> but, I mean, that's just the style that they went for. See, like this? See how it's center? I'm supposed to, like, kind of recenter it. So if I do this, with it resting on my knee, that's now the center. So, just weird how they have that. As long as I don't push the Wii or the nunchuck completely forward, I can get a good... A good, uh... Oh, it doesn't let me go forward at all. It just sails me down. Oh, that's interesting. What a nice kitty. Hi, kitty. You're so nice. Nothing could go wrong with this kitty. Oh, my God! <laughs> I do remember this. Oh, that's our first time losing a... Sorry, kitty. Goodbye! That was our first time losing a heart piece. <clears throat> I 
Probably shouldn't do that. That was a bad idea. Probably should just let myself go around slowly. Gotta get really get to the front of it. That's kind of good. Oh, that's probably worthless because oh, you can. I thought maybe I can only hold 99 with the small, the small purse. But I guess not. <clears throat> All right, let's just let it go around on its own without leaping and losing all my stamina, my stanima. So yeah, so tonight will just be kind of the start of things. Tomorrow night we'll probably get into the meat of the game. What? Oh, I pressed A instead of shaking the Wii remote. I'm stupid. Especially with all of the technical things we were having and whatnot, but this will be a good start for the for the game. <clears throat> Alright, try this again. <clears throat> the cat was cute. Usually they are, but that one had an evil side to it. I'm guessing the small satchel... I don't know. I don't know how much a small satchel holds. Oh, man. I feel... It does feel like... I know, dude. What the heck? Watch your footing out there in the dark. You never know why you take a wrong step of the ledge. Don't let me catch you trying to flying at night. Only train knights such as yourselves. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I like how they told me, but that's nice. Um, but it does feel very... Uh, wait, it put me on the... Wait, where am I? Did it put me on the ledge I was supposed to go to? Oh, it, they made the jump for me. Oh, interesting. It does feel like... Ocarina of Time uh, camera a little bit just because it locks in one place. So, I mean, not entirely like it, but enough that I missed that jump. You know. <clears throat> All right, what do you want, lady? What do you want? Maybe we'll actually get to do some exploring a little bit, maybe? Or is it just a fairy fountain of some sort? I honestly forget. Let's go find out. Inside the statue of the goddess. Actual sword. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. Will you play a role in a great destiny? According to your social customs, I shall provide you with my personal des designation. Fee is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Just like all the other links, you're thrust into this no matter what you want. <laughs> Not your choice. You've got to do it anyways. Come, weird man. You must take the sword as the one chosen by the my creator. It is your density. I mean... Destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainly, uncertainty surrounding the fate of one to hold dear. You hold deal. dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logic, logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. I cannot read. It must be getting late. 
Or maybe I'm just trying to read too fast. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. The projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. <clears throat> the one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search. I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does that really sound like a sense? I don't know. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Right to it. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. Yeah, because she... <laughs> he's going right for it. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Wow, so I... Really, right off the bat, you get... Ready stance. Remove. And up. And then I turn it. Point skyward. Oh, oh, you can't get me. Oh, no, you can't do it. I'm going to put it back in. Now I'll put it up. Ah. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Only when you point it up into the air. Recognition complete, master. Weird man, my master. And my baby's coughing up along again. Hopefully she stops. Weird man. Wait, what? Oh, ooh, oh. <clears throat> Sword is tight. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would once one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first, I was sure it is, I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. Mm. The words I have spoken to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. The battle born. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, uh, yes. The oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over that generation. There's that thing floating in the back, too. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero. It is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of, of Apocalypse from the land. Such is his density. <clears throat> with the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit, maiden shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. I guess she was saying that. I was doing more of a Anyway. Me, 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 me. <laughs> That's funny that she's just doing uh, some of Father's old texts talking about a place called the surface. 
The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. He's remembering what she said. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through the journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the Gus. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, weird man. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. Journey through galaxy, rise of the tri rise of the triad. Holy cow. I don't know what I was thinking there. Journey through the galaxy, return of the Jedi set has just dropped. I don't think they would revisit that. Journey through the galaxy? Oh really? I'll have to check that out later tonight. In living memory, no one has in living memory, no one has ever done this. Well, you're gonna have to if you want me to save your daughter. <clears throat> This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within an altar behind me. Rather than a little ditty, you got the emerald tablet. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room at the skyward strike. You need sleep? Yeah. I do need sleep. Ah, these blasts are formed of pure energy that charge within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged the blade, your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. <clears throat> do I do this first? Ah, I thought we had to put down the tablet. Here we go. Whoa. There we go. Sweet. We still got a good hour left. We can still get some good Zelda ing ing. Zelda ing in. Some good Zelda. Zelda ing in. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> there's one of the tablet pieces. I'm guessing there's four, by the way it looks. And that uncovers more of the map the more we find. Am I correct in thinking that? Like I said, I haven't got very much past this before. I'm kind of remembering this, but it has been like seven years. I thought it was five years ago, but I guess this was like seven years ago that this game came out. <clears throat> Master Weirdman, it is done. Until now, a clad barrier created by the goddess has separated the world from no... Separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barriers. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travel. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Uh, old games rule because we're old. Weird man, listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big role to play in the destiny of the land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Or maybe she doesn't even know. Maybe she's unconscious inside the toothed worm thing or whatever. Uh, <clears throat> should you heed the call of dense... I keep saying density. Because of Back to the Future. Um, should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, weird man, especially down here, down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of the journey. Please see it through and prove the legend true. It's so much. No way. Okay. <laughs> 
Ooh. Just straight. Okay. <laughs> you do your people proud. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, weird man. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. Yeah, I always say, whenever whenever I read the word destiny, I always say density a lot of the times. If you haven't noticed tonight. Just because of the whole thing with you are my density. Uh, the uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better be changing before you go. And wipe to... Close, right? Oh, yeah. Of course I want to save. <clears throat> there it is. I thought maybe they would cut to the same shot with his face there and then zoom out and you'd have the clothes on. And now we are truly the real Link. <clears throat> Fantastic. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be on Oh, so everybody gets one, so I'm not special. <laughs> okay, McFly. To be honest, I've had my doubts about that color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can imagine a more fitting color. I can't imagine more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Eyes back. Take care of your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient text. So Hero is back, what's up? You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Alright, let's go to the bazaar. Let's go see if we can buy some stuff, maybe. I don't know what we'd be buying, but hey, you got any more money for me, closet of money? No. That's alright. So now I'm ready to play. We are looking like Link. Oh, weird man. <clears throat> You're about to spend 93 bucks just to play this game again? That green uniform looked so adventurous. You look like a knight now. Uh, the headmaster said you'd be heading out and looking for Zelda. You're really something else. Yo, you're really something else. I can never imagine doing that. Uh, doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. It should take it. You should take it with you. You got the adventurer's pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. <clears throat> Seven less from an even Benjamin. Ooh, I don't remember that. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. Go take a look. You should buy some potions and a shield. Yeah, shield. They'd fit in this pouch. Wow, really? And they might come in handy on an event. I hope the next Zelda goes even more bare. Like... You can't hold like tons of items like it's more realistic like you can only hold like a shield a weapon and then like maybe a dagger and a bow and maybe some arrows and like that's it <laughs> that would be crazy um, you could buy some potions okay yeah, blah blah we got this <clears throat> weird man I just know you'll find Zelda for us hey fee you call for me master mm, never mind wait playtime why is there a playtime action on there? It's weird. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna head out. Let's go to the bazaar. Oh, wait, what do you gotta say? Hey, hey! I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come you're the only one that got promoted to senior class? Because I caught the freaking thing. It wasn't that the deal. The person that catches the bird is the one that gets to be promoted. Everybody else doesn't. Duh. You're not very attuned to the rules anyways talk about stupid calls on top of all that Groose won't come out of his room and zelda is missing it's all your fault way to go buddy some senior class guy you are see ya i'm going to the bazaar so i can buy stuff <clears throat> mario galaxy smash well yeah there's another 